Hello, this is a preview of our 6th of June granary sale, which is next Wednesday. Uh, the room is full again of interesting things, and we're just going to wander along a few of the tables and show you some of the things that stand out. And I've just been looking around, and there's lots of interesting things worth talking about. Uh, these, I think, are becoming rarer to find. We've got a frame of these First War service medals, um, and with them in the frame is the memorial plaque. This is a bronze, they call these death plaques or death pennies, uh, and these were presented to the families of people who were killed in action in the First World War. So, and this was framed at about the time of the First War as well, and there he is in the photograph to Rupert Harold Keane, who's the chap who was awarded the medals and who died in action. And um, beautifully framed, an original set there, and another frame to go with it which is the memorial scroll with the medals. And it's it, it's a, a scroll from the king to say grateful um, thanks for his for his life. And he was in the Oxford and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry. Um, so those two frames go together. Really interesting lot, isn't it? You don't often see any frame like that. They're probably going to make um, 150 to 200 or so for those. But... Um, should should be quite popular things. What else have we got here? So uh, some nice toys this time. Actually, you've got the usual Mamod selection. So a live steam powered wagon there with this original box, which then on normally make sort of eighty or a hundred pounds. These are all tin plate aircraft. With uh, these two are together. No propellers with them, unfortunately. But they are probably nineteen fifties. Um, toys. They're both clockwork and this one is a Meccano flying boat. Nice thing isn't it? Um, that's in nice condition with the Meccano um, shop advertising board as well. That goes with it and a clockwork motor and um, that's nice. This, this is lovely. Um, see lots of these Swiss musical boxes coming into the sale but very few with mechanisms that are this quality. This is just a little bit better than most. Most of these musical boxes will play six or eight tunes. Here's the list of tunes this one plays. So it's 20 different tunes on that one drum. So this little drum in the centre, this brass drum here, has all these tiny little t um, combs on here, or teeth, that pluck this... Um, this metal comb on here it's all operated by clockwork I'll trigger it off in a second and you can either have it so that it repeats the same tune over and over again or that it changes every time it's finished a tune and you just set it off with this but it's they sound really good oh usually <laughs> plain sort of case but a really good quality box. It'll stop in a minute. <laughs> Should make um <laughs> oh no <laughs> there we go I didn't put it to stop. One more tune to go. That one should make sort of 250 to 300 or so. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> Magnificent set of uh, carved bellows there. It will stop. <laughs> Let's move on. Move away. <laughs> okay, what else have we got down here? Um, an, an original um, bass advertising slate plaque there from a from a, a pub. It's a good piece of original um, advertising wear there. These are interesting, but I've no idea what they're for. They're by Arnold and Sons of Smithfield. And they're really good quality instruments. And, and Arnold and Sons made veterinary um, surgical tools. So goodness knows what you do with these or where you insert them. But uh, someone hopefully out there will know what they're for. But spare nozzles and all sorts. And uh, that's another one by the same people as well. <laughs> Horrendous looking item. But uh, they're both 19th century 
both in one lot and goodness knows what those are worth but uh, probably will be aiming at 100 or 150 pounds something like that um, I thought this was quite nice it's a it's an Art Nouveau period so 1920 or 1910 to 1920 pewter desk stand with ink wells on here by a company called Kaiser Zinn um, and that's just quite an attractive sort of design and we've got um, over here we've got driving gauntlets for early motorists they're sort of 1920s period fur gauntlets just the right weather, weather for those at the moment isn't it um, else to put on the table here it's just fascinating things all over the place here there's a nice um, French marquetry mantel clock there this is tortoiseshell and brass marquetry and that'll date to about um, 1890 to 1900 very ornate clock there. That should be worth um, hundred, hundred and fifty pounds. I would have thought. Um, little marble dish here with a bronze boy and geese. It's quite attractive, isn't it? Should be at least sort of sixty to eighty pounds, something like that. Um, there's fossils here. Five million year old fossils. As usual, there's lots of interesting things in the cabinets here. So the Second War period um, pilot's cap there with the uh, radio plug as well on the end. It's a nice thing. It should be 80 or 100 pounds, I suppose. Boxes of other interesting odds and ends, and medals, and coins, and um, miniature paintings. And we've got cabinets full of um, jewellery and interesting bits in here. So Half sovereign there. So see, there's some Rolls Royce cufflinks as well, and what silver coins and commemorative medallions in there. There's a large silver ingot there from the SS Gersopper, Second World War period ship that was sunk there. As usual, there's masses of furniture this time, all over the room, piled high to the ceiling, as always. Hundreds and hundreds of lots. We've got uh, about 1,600 lots to sell in one day next next Wednesday. So if you have a look just down here, there's all sorts, ranging from a glitter ball hanging from the ceiling, and a remote control Spitfire. And uh, what else we got? Let's just have a quick look down here. Victorian chaise long here. It's a magnificent um, frame there. And here we've got um, a very elaborate seat with, uh, with bears, and these are bronze bears. But it's a wooden seat, but supported by bronze bears. That's a nice thing. It should be five or six hundred. Lots of garden ornaments and figures here. Lots of garden urns, concrete lions. And then we'll just wander down the back row here. Just have a quick look. See what's down here. These are lovely. This proper vintage um, vaulting horse. People like those as interior decoration. I'm sure I've seen in magazines these in people's kitchens for some reason. <laughs> I cannot imagine what you do with that in your kitchen. This is interesting. This is um, an Art Nouveau. It's again Art Nouveau period desk, uh, made and designed by Thonet. Um, a well-known, um, they're Austrian manufacturers, but it's it's a known model of desk, and the last one of these that came up for sale at auction was, I think it was in Sotheby's in New York, and it made about eight thousand dollars for exactly that desk. Um, I think the estimate is around a thousand or so for that one. Very stylish piece as well. Directly underneath it, complete opposite end of the spectrum, is this um, modern glass top table with um, Harry Bertoia style um, chrome chairs there. And there's all sorts here. There's a quality mahogany wardrobe there with a linen, linen press in the centre. There's some really good quality furniture. It's well worth a look through. And all sorts of antique and modern things and, and well worth a look. So this is next Wednesday. Uh, the sale starts at nine in the morning. So viewing is this Saturday from nine till one. 
Uh, it's on Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7, and we open on the morning of the sale from 8 o'clock, but the sale's at 9, and we'll be going at full speed, so there's so much to get through. But hopefully see you there. Thank you very much.